everybody welcome to our show once again i hope you're doing fine it's been long since we last shared uh, our recordings with you so today we are here once again i'm just going to share with you uh, what i've been doing for the past two weeks so this is what i've been working on what you're seeing on the screen is what i've been working on and it's just a sample uh, simulation of a of a project that I've been having in mind and uh, I thank God that I've been able to simulate it and it's working as expected. So the actual prototype uh, will be uh, done with uh, let's say on no in November or December. So this is actual uh, this is just a simulation of what is expected of the of the project. The project itself is just an, uh, an integration of uh, M-Pesa payment process with our um, traditional automatic vending machine. I'm sure majority of us have interacted with various kinds of ve uh, vending machine that dispenses a variety of goods. There are those that dispense uh, liquid oil or let's say oil. There's those that dispense uh, milk kuna ile ya maziwa and a variety of uh, vending machines so uh, uh, a vending machine is a as it uh, as, as its name suggests is a machine that acts as a vendor huh? it's a machine that acts as a vendor though uh, it is not human operated it's automatic so in a in a typical vending machine you'll probably find a, a keypad uh, there's a motor behind it uh, there's an, a, a controller or a, a microprocessor behind it and there's an LCD screen for presentation so and some buttons and LEDs for display and uh, indicators so this is just a sample uh, a typical vending machine but what I've added to it is just uh, this sensor here which is an infrared not infrared this is ultrasonic uh, proximity sensor uh, so uh, there's much details about it you can search it online and uh, ultrasonic proximity sensor there are various types of proximity sensors there is infrared and ultrasonic and all kinds of sensors, resist, resistive, uh, inductive, capacitive. I don't want to go to details, but I decided to use uh, ultrasonic for its cheap, uh, readily available, and it easy to, easy, easy, it's easy to integrate with my, my controller that I'm using. Next to it, we have a servo motor. As I've highlighted, a servo motor, it's a, it, it's a motor, just a typical motor, but with an additional uh, improvement that is uh, you can control it uh, using any of the pins through pulse width, pulse width modula modulation pwm pulse width modulation you you change the module uh, the, 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 the the width of your modulation it's like you're interfering with the with the the frequency of the voltage that you're serving into your into your motor and it makes the motor behave as you wish you can change the position of the motor the angle of uh, your arm of the motor as you wish we are going to see it uh, working uh, when i play the simulation next to it we have an esp8266 uh, wi-fi module this is a module that will help me communicate with my uh, an apache server it's a server that is online so it will require some uh, connectivity though you can do it offline but it, it is another process so i'm going to use esp8266 for wi-fi communication between my my client's uh, portal with the or the, let's say the 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 the, the, uh, the sole proprietor's portal or the owner of the business portal uh, web-based portal and the actual uh, system so it is going to send the details from the from the from the from the project on to the online then process the details give a response then from the response all this system will uh, react to it so in the middle of it we have an Arduino Uno controller 
So this is a microcontroller that is controlling all the processes. It is uh, providing power to all the systems that you're seeing here. It is providing power to the LCD screen. It's providing power to the keypad membrane and on and on to all these features. It's also providing signals depending on how you've programmed it. So I'm using an, a, a Wikui, Wokui. It's a Wokui. It's quite a new simulator in the field. Uh, I know majority of us have been using Proteus. Uh, I've tried using Proteus. I have the same uh, uh, simul simulation on Proteus, but I just decided to use uh, this new system. I know there's, there are those that have used Tinkercad, uh, but I prefer Wokui so far. It is simple to use. It is easy to, it is user friendly. It's a drag and drop uh, simulator that is quite easy to use. So this is how its uh, interface is. Uh, when you log into Wokui page, this is what you'll see. You'll find some sample projects which you can click on them and see what is happening to them. You can start your own project from scratch. As you can see there, you can start your own project from scratch. It enables you to use uh, an Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, and ESP32 for Wi-Fi connectivity, MicroPython on ESP82, we have Raspberry Pi, Pico, Arduino Nano, and more more options that you can do with this work with simulator. So I can advise uh, fellow enthousi enthusiasts of uh, microcontroller programming. You can try out this one. It's, it's a new, uh, it's a new uh, simulator in the field. And I believe it can help us ease in our programming and our simulation. So I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. Let me go to the, to the file once again. So this is my project that I've done. We have an Arduino controller that is controlling all the systems. So I'm going to run the simulation. Then I'm going to show you the code that is running all this program. And we can see, we shall see what next so you play the, you press the play button and you, as you can see the system has started it says welcome to kentex solution as i call myself that is my company future company kentex solution so there you go it uh, welcomes you just like a typical vending machine as you can see this wi-fi connectivity uh, because i have esp8266 wi-fi module here so it shows there's, there's some connection taking place here so it asks you as a vendor to enter a phone number. Let's say you are a pool table vendor or player and you want to play your, 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 your game. You'll require to enter your phone number uh, using the keypad. Let, let me place my phone number 0741. Uh, let me just give a random number. I know people can get my number and start using it for mischievous purposes. So it counts the number with you. Uh, when it gets to 10, I know majority of the phone numbers that we are using, it's up to 10. So it asks you to press hash to process the payment, uh, to start the payment process. So you press hash. When you press hash, it tells you uh, it is processing the payment. Let me, mini, 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 let me minimize. <laughs> I'm having a problem with the pronunciation. Let me minimize this serial monitor. This is a monitor that helps you see what your programming is doing. As you can see, it has processed the payment and it has opened the servo, uh, the servo motor. For those who can remember, the servo motor was initially in the 90 in the in the, in the 40, 90 degrees position. Now it is in one 80 degrees position. So it has opened the monitor. And it's telling you to enjoy the game so the servo motor is now opened uh, sorry i said servo monitor i said it's servo motor it is now opened and it can be uh connected to anything it can be a pump that is uh giving out the oil or the milk it can be connected to anything this uh, servo motor so this uh ultrasonic sensor for my case it's checking the for the pool table the position of the balls and it's counting the balls with them so when the balls are full on the deck let's say the distance will be minimized to 63 and this lcd screen will tell you to wait 
it will uh, it, because uh, the balls on the on the system are full so we have to actually so far because it's a simulation i can't uh, actually place an object before the 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 the, the the, the ultrasonic sensor so you can't see uh, or you can't interact with it how it actually uh, it, how it actually works on the ground but this is a sample uh, uh, distance uh, changer as you can see as I change the distance the LCD screen is printing out some information so th that is the system the, the the keypad allows you to enter in your phone number the microcontroller displays your phone number on the LCD screen. It also sends the phone number, as you can see, it has told me to enter the phone number. You can keep a, you can key in any phone number, your phone number as long as it's in PESA enabled. And the ESP8266 sends the phone number onto your website. It sends the phone number onto your website, as you can see. There's these file. There are these files that are here. So it will send the phone number to one of the of these files. These files are located on the server. You cannot access them from the, your local folders. So you it will send you to one of these files that are here. Let's say it is in public HTML for those who have interacted with cPanel or WordPress. It's telling me that my session has expired. So anyway. So it will send it will send uh, the phone number to this server. I've just logged in once again. It will send your phone number to this. This is the back end of a, uh, a web enabled admin panel. So when it sends your phone number here, it will go to this page, which is MP, which is Mpesa integration. Uh, .php. It will send your phone number. This it will it will be instant. It's not as slow as it is uh, uh, happening right now. So you will, uh, it will, it will send your your your, your phone number to this uh, page. After receiving your phone number, this is the code that acts on your phone number. It gets your phone number here, uh, pastes it in, in this place. Uh, it sends you an Mpesa uh, token. It sends you an Mpesa SDK push where it requires you to pay the amount as the input as a as a customer or the the dealer has initiated it for majority of uh, pool tables it's around uh, 20 shillings to play a game so it can be customly edited the price it can be custom customly uh, preset by the vendors so that is it it sends you the, the ESP the ESP sends the data there, and uh, the ESP sends the data there, and it sends back uh, after a successful payment. It sends back the data to the programmer. When the number gets to ten, let's see what happens. As you can see, the LED is red to to show you that uh, the for power power is on. So when you press hash, notice what happens to the to the servo motor. Notice what happens here. After five minutes of processing the payment, notice what happened. Five seconds, not five minutes. Five seconds. You will see that the the servo motor arm will move towards the right. You've seen what has happened. And it tells you enjoy the game so it has released or dispensed what the user needs it or what the uh, the player needs either the balls or what, whatever it is so that is what we and that's my simulation it's simple but there's complexity in simplicity there's so much that has worked behind the scene for this simulation to work now let's see the code behind all this system as you can see, this is the code that I've used to program the system. Uh, main project. You know, this is the main uh, code that I've used. It is how many lines of code? Let's see. It's around uh, 138 lines of code. This is in, is in C sharp. As you know, that Arduino Uno 
is coded in C sharp. So these are the files, the libraries that I'm using, the, the pins that I've uh, uh, preset, these are the setup. And that is it. So this is the code that is running all these that you you see uh, that I've shown you on the right. So that is it. I'm, I'm welcoming you all of you to use Wokui and tell me how you view it. Till next time. Till we meet again. Bye bye.